Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rudy Bakhtiar. It's so important for us to be part of an organization like the Public Affairs Alliance of Iranian Americans because we need to all, Iranian Americans, unite under one umbrella, regardless of our race, regardless of our religion or our political affiliation. Because when we do that, then the ramifications of it can reach far beyond the borders of America. First and foremost, I would like to thank those of you who have made tonight or this day possible. I want to thank you for your courage. I want to thank you for your vision. I want to thank you for your commitment to the next generation Iranian American. Thank you. So I want to acknowledge you for coming out and standing with them and supporting them and letting them know that we are going to create our own legacy in this country. We have created our legacy in this country and we believe in their future and that is what you represent by being here today. So thank you. I've also had aspirations in, uh, in public service and that's why when I went to law school I knew that for me uh, it was important to pursue a career in the government and so in law school I took every opportunity if there's lawyers in the room it is very daunting because you try to figure out what it is you want to do but I took I sort of tried to take every opportunity to gain experiences that would lead me into the path where I can uh, uh, gain a, a job in the government and, and contribute um, in that regard and so I did internships with the government, I did clerkships and then when I graduated I was hired with the uh, Department of Justice and uh, through my career um, I uh, gained further experience and eventually the knowledge and, and the, um, the experiences and the confidence to sort of transition into a position um, as a judge. For me the, the title of the piece actually is quite meaningful. Um, on a personal journey I've always felt that public service service is the way to go. And one of the reasons I felt that public service was an effective way to bring about change is because you're working from within the system. Um, and there are, the ways that you're working within the system is not always obvious. One of the most basic ways that I believe you work within the system is that you are there yourself. So as somebody who breaks the stereotypes of a typical government attorney or a typical judge, you're there to bring about um, change within the government, within the people who are running the government and are making decisions. So hopefully with that, they are gaining a little bit of cultural sensitivity and a better understanding of your background. But there, on the other side of the aisle is the change that you're making, hopefully, is that you are now um, allowing people from your community to reflect and see, wow, we have somebody, a member of our own community, who is partaking in our government. And that can hopefully build a sense of trust, a sense of connection, um, a sense of empowerment, that there's representation um, from the community within the government. And that's why I'm so passionate about PAYA and about a lot of similar organizations because I do believe that it's important to work from within, to connect with each other. I think it's a, a shoot from the moon. It's something that I always kind of a mantra I'll remember that my dad said to me, yeah, shoot for the moon, even if you fall, you'll be among the stars. He said, up. and my father realized um, at a young age I was a pretty talented swimmer, and like every Iranian father told me, you know, school comes first, your straight A's, your first, your first B, and I'm taking you out of swimming. <laughs> so that was the deal. I had to be a student first, and then I could, then I could do my swimming. And uh, he told me also, you know, I think for being an Iranian woman, you have opportunities here in, in career and in sport to achieve things that may not be possible in other areas. And so he was the biggest supporter. I would like to briefly talk about PAI.